Hi, me again. And if you're watching this video, you're probably already quite happily TV license free. I know I am, but I tend to speak to a lot of people, you know, during my day to day business, and uh, they're not quite sure about it or whether it's legit or stuff like that. So I thought I'd make this little video to show you how I help to persuade people to become license free. So if you're trying to convert a friend or a family member to cancelling their TV licence, this is how I personally do it. Now the first thing you need to do is get a TV guide for the last week. So either a magazine or get it up on your computer or on your phone or whatever. Get a pen and paper and sit down together and go through everything they watched that week and make a note because you're going to need this a bit later on. So make a note of everything they've watched that week. Now, one thing you will notice, I always notice it, is how little amount of BBC they actually will watch. And you can remind them of that. They will be surprised, trust me. And once you've got all this written down, you can gently let them know that they would have been able to watch everything they watched already, just not the BBC stuff. Don't go into tons of detail, don't go on a bit of a rant, just stop there and just let it sink in for them. So now we've got all the data written down that we're gonna come back to in a minute. But you need to address an important point because a lot of people still believe that if you own a TV or if you watch a TV, you must have a TV license. And if you don't, it's against the law and you're gonna get a massive fine. So this needs addressing. So you need to let them know that it's perfectly legitimate to own a TV and watch your TV without a TV license as long as you stick to certain rules. It's that simple, you're not gonna get a massive fine. You're not gonna to go to prison forever. A SWAT team's not gonna come bashing through your front door with machine guns because you haven't got a TV license. Look at the news reports. You know, there's tens of thousands of people canceling at the moment. Would they all be canceling if it was massively illegal? Of course they wouldn't. Most people are law-abiding citizens. And it's completely law-abiding to not have a TV license as long as you stick to certain rules. So getting back to the list of shows that we made earlier, a good conversation to have at this point is, was any of it inconvenient for them? You know, did they make time in their day to put themselves out to watch this show? Did they rush back from the shops early because they didn't want to miss something? Or did they not manage to cook dinner at the time they wanted to cook it because they had to watch Coronation Street or something? Okay, everyone will have one that was a bit inconvenient. They stayed in or they missed a phone call or something to watch a show. So make a note of those shows that were inconvenient on the bottom of the list of the other shows that you made a minute ago. Now, the next thing that I do is take a look at their TV equipment. Now, if they've bought a new TV in the last couple of years, odds are it's a smart TV and it's gonna do everything we're gonna need it to do to demonstrate. Or maybe they've got an Amazon stick or they've got a now TV box, something like that. If they haven't, just borrow your one from home. I mean, when I was trying to persuade my mum about this, I had an old now TV box just sitting in a drawer. So I took it around her house, I set it up with three, four, five, the catch-up services and all that, ready to demonstrate how easy everything is to use. So now we've got the app set up either on their TV or on their, their streaming stick, or you've borrowed your one from home, like what I did. A brilliant thing to do here is that list of shows that you found that was inconvenient to them, maybe there's a few, maybe there's just one, right? Find one of those shows. Find that exact show that put them out to watch. Find that on the thing and play it, pause it, rewind it, kill it, then open it up on your phone or something and show them how convenient it is not having to stick to a TV schedule. You'll never have to put yourself out to watch your favourite show again. The show is waiting for you. You're not waiting for it. And sometimes this is a massive revelation to people. My mum, for instance, had no idea that it was this easy and that convenient to watch whatever you wanted to watch whenever you want to watch it. Now the next thing I like to do is demonstrate the premium services like Netflix or Now TV. Now TV is a great one to demonstrate if you can, if the person you're trying to convert has got Sky. Because it's Sky, but cheaper, and you can watch all your shows whenever you want to watch them. You're not waiting for them to come on Thursday at four o'clock or anything like that. So again, show them you can watch it on your telly, that you can watch it on your laptop, that you can have it on your phone. You can put it on your iPad while you're in the kitchen cooking. Show them how convenient it is to watch all these shows and that there is stuff they know on there. Like on Netflix, for instance, you'll find Only Fools and Horses and The Office and they're BBC shows and you can watch those without a TV license. 
So after you've demonstrated all this, it's time to sit down with a cup of tea and have a nice chat. And people seem to catch on quite quick that traditional broadcast TV is terribly old fashioned once you get your head around using the streaming services. The shows are there waiting for you, you're not waiting for the shows. Now, you can go back to that list you made at the start of all the stuff they watched this week and look at the BBC stuff and just ask them one simple question. Are those shows that you watched worth 150 quid a year to you? If they're not, you now have your answer. You can cancel your TV license and you can live your life watching 90% of the shows you've already watched anyway. If it is worth 150 quid to them, fair play, you know. I choose to pay for Netflix, that's my choice, it's not forced upon me. If they choose to pay their BBC licence fees so that they can enjoy broadcast TV and BBC content, good for them. At least you tried. But I think you'll be surprised how well this system does convert people. If you need a bit more help persuading them, obviously I've got loads of videos on this channel. Now I'm going to put a link below to the two main videos that will help you. Uh, one of them's called how to watch TV without a license, and the other one's called What Can You Watch on TV Without a License? Now, they're straight up, good quality, informational videos. None of my mucking about, or jokes, or silly characters, or all that. They're there to help persuade people, and to reassure them all the way through that you're not gonna be in trouble for not having a TV license. The other thing to show them is the website, tvlicensestop.co.uk, that I had set up, and that shows you the rules that you need to stick to, if you're going to be license free and how to go about cancelling it and all the information you're going to need about not having a TV license is on there so you can share that with people to take a look at as well. So have you had any of these conversations with people about trying to convert them to cancelling their TV licenses? Let me know in the comments below and put any questions that you've got down there as well because I do like to read all your questions and that's me for now. I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.